Congresswoman, uh, Vice Presidential Candidate Kamala Harris says that Michigan is the main event in this fight after it went to Trump in 2016. How co confident are you that Biden Harris can win your state in November and keep it away from Donald Trump? Oh, I'm confident that they can win, but I don't think that this election's over in any way, shape, or form. I didn't believe the polls four years ago. I don't believe the polls now. I think we have to work every single day between now and November to make sure that we turn out our vote and are connecting with some voters that are still undecided, to be perfectly frank. Yeah. And you said before that it's critical that Democrats prevent the president from making law and order, as he puts it, law enforcement, a political wedge issue. How do you do that? Well, I am not going to. I feel very strongly about this. And as you know, I identified this issue several months ago before it became such a public issue in the last couple of weeks. I, I We have seen, I mean, if you look at the videos from Wisconsin, that uh, yeah, a black man was treated differently than a, a white man. We have racial injustice in our country. We have to have that dialogue. It's an uncomfortable dialogue, but you don't throw kerosene on that fire. And I am not gonna let the president of the United States define who I am. I support my local law enforcement. I'm close to many of them. I have marched with them. I go to the events supporting them. There are problems, and we have to address those problems. But quite frankly, they are part of addressing these problems. And I do not support anarchy. I do not support rioting. I do not support looting. I do not support violence of any kind. And we'll stand up for it no matter which side, far right or far left, is doing it. And let us be clear that there are those that are trying to stir up violence to cause these kind of discussions. So we have to be prepared to have uncomfortable dialogue, but we have to be ready to lead, and you don't put kerosene on a fire that's already up. I want to also ask you about the coronavirus pandemic, because Detroit this week, as you know, they honored the more than 1,500 people there who've died. And families participated in this funeral-like procession, driving by pictures of those they've lost. You can see it right there on the screen. And many of the faces of the people on those posters were faces of African Americans. And it strikes me as such an indictment of our public health system and of our politics. One, that the COVID-19 deaths are disproportionately affecting black and brown folks. But two, that it's apparently going unnoticed by the mostly white Michiganders who still back the president's handling of the pandemic and are, are still supporting him. So how do you make sense of that? You know, I'm going to tell you that there are some that are supporting the president's handling, but I, I think many that COVID has shined a light. I mean, the fact of the, mer the matter is that in Michigan, the African-American population is 13 or 14 percent, but the number of deaths have been 42 percent of the African-American community. And I have been to Belle Isle, and you can't do that and not want to cry. And I think many of us uh uh, have lost people that we know or have been touched by COVID in Michigan. Uh, we have to, have, I do believe mm -hmm. that there are many people that don't, this is going to be a COVID election. But what we have to remind people, they're worried about the job, the economic issues, the economy right now, and it contracted 10%, the most since Herbert Hoover in the last six months because of the handling of COVID. And that's what we've got to do a better job of is reminding people that the economy that they're worried about is where it is because of the way COVID was handled by this administration and the president. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.